uh, calling. Thank you. Calling to order the Wednesday, September 14th, 2022 meeting of the Gig Harbor Arts Commission at 10 a.m. Our first order of business is the roll call. And I will just call your names as I see you on my screen. Um, Charlie Glock Jackson, Chair. Uh, Robin. Robin Offney, Vice Chair, here. Sonia. Sonia Johnson, here. Jennifer. Jennifer Beard, Commissioner, here. And Colette. Colette Smith, Commissioner, here. And we have also with us staff members Tiffany Alliment and on and off City Clerk Josh Decker. Uh, so are there um, any, I, I trust everyone has read the minutes to the August 17th meeting. Are there any corrections or additions? No, nope, sweet and brief. Right, good job, Tiffany. Hearing none, may I have a motion to approve, please? I move to approve the minutes of our last meeting. Thank you. I'll second. And Jennifer seconds. So that was Robin and Jennifer. All in favor, say aye, raise your hand. Aye. aye. All right, the minutes of the August 17th, 2022 meeting are unanimously approved. Okay, big uh, agenda today. Our first discussion item is um, reviewing the two submissions that we got for the Harborview Stinson um, art project. Very interesting submissions. Um, Tiffany will probably want to put those up on the screen. You're probably already anticipating that. Um, two very interesting and very different um, submissions. Um, were there any comments from any of the commissioners on either of those just to start with? I took a look at okay. I really both of them. <clears throat> they're very different, but they're very um I I love the creative um energy that goes into uh thinking of how art can affect our um our daily lives. So let's start with the one from Judith and Den Daniel Caldwell. Uh, they apparently own a foundry and sculpture studio in Seattle. Sounds like West Seattle. Um, easy ferry ride. Um, and they seemed, they're, they're kind of riffing on the, um, the maritime compass that is in front, in the sidewalk in front of the city hall. And they're taking it quite a few steps further. So um, you have all looked at their design and um, their proposal. Uh, I open the floor to comments, please. I'm happy to start. I had a few thoughts. Thank you, um, Jennifer. So I thought that they had a very thorough proposal and I understand that it would probably be difficult to put a budget together, but since they feel that they could come in within the budget, you know, I don't think that's a big impediment. My only thought, like I really like the compass rose with a map in the center. Um, and I realize this design is open um, to interpretation. My only thought with just having the ships that explored the waters, um, from a colonizing standpoint and maybe um, having a wider range of ships represented like tribal canoes or things like that, you know, making it a more um, integrated with all the history of the area versus just the colonizing history. Um, we are then, sipping, we are sipping from the same teapot, Jennifer, thank you. <laughs> and the only other thought I had on it, on that compass rose at some of the different points, it would be kind of interesting to point out some prominent things like, you know, Mount Rainier, what direction is that in? Cause you can't always see it. Um, so maybe just with words or pictograms or something, you know, some other places to reference where Gig Harbor is in the larger landscape. Um, but I mean, they seem like they have a very professional operation and the capability to pull off a project 
of that scale and have it be durable and um, long lasting. And their website has also got a lot of pretty impressive projects on it, so. Right, yeah. Um, I, I definitely agree with your suggestion of incorporating um, a more inclusive uh, historical perspective as far as the ships and um, boats are concerned. Um, and I also um, don't want us to get too far away from our original um, request for uh, un crit critters that are um, that are found in our waters. So um, I want I want to make sure that we have plenty of room for sea stars and sea and jellies and um, sculpins and all the rest. So yes, Sonia. Oh, I I liked the compass and I, I like the historical aspect of it. Uh, in reading about it, they also said they could take the ships out and they suggested something like octopus in the corners and they said that would be, you know, kind of an interesting and fun thing. And then it looks like they're incorporating a lot of maritime uh, life in the rest of the design. It's, I, the idea that I got at least was that it's not just blank space, then they're putting other things in there as well. Right. Yeah. Yes, I, uh, I agree. Uh, Jennifer. No, no, that was niche. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other comments? I just, just to second everybody's uh, comments about the ships, um, that they need to be more diverse. And then I'm also just wondering if it needs, I mean, I know we have shipbuilding in our history. So if there's some other way to represent that rather than just, um, you know, a canoe and a ship and, uh, you know, is there some other way to speak to that um, with whatever they put in the corners? But um, I'll otherwise agree with what everybody said. And perhaps, you know, with whomever is selected, if there's gonna be a historical aspect, perhaps they could, you know, touch base with the museum because we have a lot of information on various um, boats in the history of Gig Harbor and then Harbor Wild Watch for some of the natural elements. Right, good good thoughts, everyone. Um, I, I very much liked their narrative as well. I thought they touched a lot of imp, uh, what I feel are uh, important and significant points in, um, in, in their developing this concept. Um, it sounds like they really did their research about Gig Harbor and um, like they really know what they're doing. And um, I, I'm, I'm a little concerned, as, as you mentioned, Jennifer, about the lack of a budget, but I guess they have shown that they know what they're doing and we can um, uh, assume trust that they will certainly stay within the budget. And I like that they're willing to work with us to um, maybe select the the critters and uh, you know kind of uh, open open to um, our, a dialogue with us. Although I don't want us to be designing it, I I think that's up to the um, up to the artists. Um, they can ask us questions and we can give opinions, but I'm I really don't want us to be designing. Yes, Colette. Um, I agree with what everyone said. I like this design. I, I think they're very professional. They obviously know what they're doing. But I think as far as a budget is concerned, we need to get some sort of prospectus from them rather than just trusting that they'll stay within the confines. I think it just makes sense to have something on record um, that they acknowledge what the budget is. And um, unless I miss something that they put inside in their uh, documents. That that would be my only suggestion. But I love the compass and the map inside. Uh, point well taken about the, the need for a budget. I definitely agree. Uh, any other comments on this one? Sh or shall we move on to uh, the second proposal? Okay, uh, Tiffany, could we go on to um, Jennifer Kushkoff's proposal? Many of us know Jennifer's work from um, a 2021 
Creative Endeavor Grant, where she did the, um, the <clears throat> excuse me, the poetry walk, the yeah. plaques with about a dozen poems um, that were scattered throughout the um, Austin Estuary uh, History Museum area. So, um, discussion about Jennifer's proposal. Robin? No, I'm just looking and I'm uh -huh. trying to I'm trying to move it bigger for uh -huh. my screen. <laughs> there we go. I, I had more questions on this, I guess, than I mean, I like the concept of the salmon and the Fibonacci spiral. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess all four of these designs are proposed. Each proposal, it's each a way to do that design in different ways. But what I wasn't clear of is how does this, so this would be in the sidewalk, but how does that go together with that, um, that virtual experience that she detailed? Or, or maybe that's just something she's kind of working on as part of her resume that doesn't really pertain to this project. I'm not, I wasn't quite clear on that. I, I agree. I was confused about the, the virtual aspect of it as well. I, um, I, I read it several times and didn't and I still didn't quite understand how it was going to work or what it was going to be. So uh, anyone else have um, comments or thoughts on any part of this one? I, I also love the Fibonacci sequence and the spiral. And um, I, th I think it's a very, uh, it, it touches our community in a very special place in that the salmon are so important. Um, historically across all generations and all cultures uh, to the traditions of Gig Harbor. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to say this. Uh, that's, I appreciate the effort here, but this is not my favorite. Um, and I'm not that I'm anti-salmon, I love salmon, but we got a lot of salmon around town. And, um, so I actually love the direction of the compass because that still speaks to our boat building history and, and, and the harbor and all of that. I lean more towards that than the salmon because we don't have salmon in the harbor as far as I know. Although I do know that they do the run by, um, they come up on their run you can tell they my my kids call it nature with nana here i'm not the best <laughs> with nature but um but uh but i just i like a little differentiation um in our symbolism i guess is the way to put it right <clears throat> and the one on the one in the black square seems to be a little more <clears throat> pardon me um a, a little more toward what you're asking for i think Robin. Yeah, it's just a little too sweet, a um, yeah. little too cute um, for what I think. If it was uh, for for something for a symbol um, in the in the sidewalk, right? Okay. Well, my, uh, my other concern was um, with this was she mentioned having somebody do the metal work, so I guess that would be outsourced, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then etching in the stone or the concrete, I guess. And I wasn't really, well, two things. I wasn't clear what her previous experience was in those mediums and then how exactly that was gonna be accomplished. Yeah, agree. Uh, Sonia, it looked like you had your hand up a few moments ago. No, I did. When, when I was reading her proposal, I got the feeling she was talking about a ring of creatures around the outside so maybe that's in the black square and then the salmon in the middle at least that's the that's the feeling that I got from it but I'm not certain if that if that's correct or not because she's got the spiral but then I thought she was talking about the different creatures placed around the outside um so that you know it, it did incorporate a lot of our design elements but I really I was leaning towards the compass I I liked that idea I think this looks nice but I I did like the compass better Okay, any, any other uh, discussion? I, I don't want to leave any 
stone unturned, as it might be. Yes, Jennifer? Well, I have two more questions, um, and they're not related. My One of my takeaways on this was almost that her graphic experience with guidance on what we're looking for would be great to help the, the Caldwell Studios finalize a design. Like, pairing the two of them together would be, and I don't know if that, that probably may not fall into the budget to have her do the graphic design portion, you know, to flesh out the sea life that's going to be around that compass rose. But that was, it, it seemed to me that they'd make a good pair together. Um, and then my other question, it's kind of for Tiffany. I had asked somebody, a tile person to submit a proposal for mosaics. I know he was nervous too, because he's never done this scale. He's done mosaics in people's homes. Um, did he just miss the deadline? Did he even try? Or? Uh, I didn't see anything come through. Okay. Um, and I would like to mention, I believe at least, I believe um, Judith and Daniel are here if you have questions. I'm not sure if uh, Jennifer made it on, but if you've got questions, I can get them into the meeting if you'd like to. Okay, clarify. It might be helpful to ask them about the budget. What does everyone else think? Yeah. Colette? Yeah, I'm just reading through here. I know they do say that if they're chosen, or we're we're back to talking about the Caldwells. Yes. At this okay. point. Um so they do say that um if we are selected, we will, of course, provide a detailed budget listing the cost per bronze casting and all other expenses associated with the work. So I think if we um, ask them to do that, then I would be comfortable with this design. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm hearing that we would like to uh, include them in this meeting. <clears throat> It, it, would everybody who wants to, would, there, would everyone who wants to have an opportunity to speak with them, like raise your hand or something so I get a sense of? We want to make a decision about which design we like better first, or if we, if we wanted to go with them and then talk with them, or are you suggesting we talk to them first before making the decision? Well, I was, I was thinking of the latter, but what mm -hmm. I'll go with everyone else's preference. Robin? Yeah, I was just going to say that I, I think I just wanted to add that I think how professional it shows they are that they actually showed up at this meeting, you know, like they've done this before. Um, obviously, it's their business. And I, I, I think that that's a cue to how responsive and, um, and communicative they'll be. So um, not necessarily comment on whether to let them in or not. Um, but just that I, I think it's just another check mark in their favor, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do we want to make a decision on, um, uh, well, I'll just put it out. Do we want to accept this proposal, the um, Caldwell proposal? And if so, may I have a motion? Uh, I motion that we accept the Caldwell proposal. And I'll second that. Okay. Is there any other discussion? No. Um, then may I have a show of hands and an aye for every um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And I see no nays and see no abstentions. So um, the motion is carried, and we are accepting the proposal from Judith and Daniel Caldwell. Um, and now maybe we want to let him in the meeting to let him know. <laughs> yes. I agree. Tiffany, can you yes. um, please? I just invited them to join as a panelist. There they are. Great. Um, hello, Caldwell Sculpture Studio. Would you unmute, please? We we thank you, thank you. Um, well, uh, hello. <laughs> Great. Oh, there are actually wonderful faces attached to the name. Um, well, congratulations. As you have heard, we've uh, um, accepted your proposal and um, are obviously very impressed with it and um, welcome you to the project and to working with the Gig Harbor Arts Commission.
Um, we did have some questions, as you heard, about budget. Um, so if you'd like to talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, we, uh, of course, for all of our public art projects, we are required to submit detailed budgets. But we do so having been selected for the project. We do not characteristically respond to RFPs. I actually don't know the last time that we did that. But um, Geek Harbor is kind of special to us. And um, so is sidewalk art, as I, I said in our proposal. And so we thought we would um, go ahead and put the effort into uh, applying for something that we weren't going to be paid for the proposal, but that we really did want to get. So, and that's the reason that I didn't do a budget because a budget is a lot of work. We have corporate mm -hmm. clients. We do $150,000 projects and they just say, can you do this for $150,000? And we say, yes. And that's the end of the story. But public projects are not the same. They um, need to be more, more specific and more laid out. So having a excuse me, having awarded this project to us, we will then happily give you the kind of budget that we give all of our public art clients, which has a lot of detail in it and also allows you to, you know, kind of put stuff in and take stuff out if and switch things around. Since we're making all of these individual components, um, it's not an all or nothing situation. It can be, um, you know, if you want uh, more critters uh, and less boats. We can do that if you want more boats and less critters. The boats are obviously more complex than most of the critters to make as a metal casting, but um, they're not, uh, uh, you know, super difficult and we love making them. So, um, it's a, you know, it, it, it's a kind of budget that will allow you some, um, to do some, some horse right. trading. So in a lot of this, if you, you're probably concerned about the outside of the, the, the compass and a lot of, there's going to be a lot of castings in there that we, we didn't go into, into detail of showing. So there's going to be, it's not going to be a vast concrete spans it's going to be a, a lot more going on in the outside of, around that yeah no i didn't draw all those little guys because it would have taken a lot of time and it was just much easier to say you know we will put from your list of animals um those creatures into this this field of um of concrete there are considerations in how the concrete is going to be poured and finished because you have, to, you have to finish the wet concrete around each of the castings and you have to be able to reach them from the edge. So what we're probably gonna do is, is do that, that center section um, with the map and then move outward and place all of the other castings around the perimeter in such a way that the concrete fissioner can actually get in there and and do the finishing. Anytime you're working with sidewalks, you have to think very carefully about how those people are going to get in there and do their work. So good point. Anyway, you didn't and, have and that. We'll, I'm telling you anyway. And you'll be working really closely with our public works department. Yes. Um, in all that. Yes. Yeah. May we ask why Gig Harbor is special to you? Well, isn't it just special to everybody? I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> for those, <laughs> there aren't very many sweet, small waterfront towns left. You know, we, we've been to some musical events over the years in Gig Harbor, and um, we had a very old log that um, we inherited from my father when he needed to go into an assisted living facility. And um, <clears throat> she was 16 when we got her. She had her best day ever the whole time we had her in Gig Harbor at a music festival. And we just, you know, never forget it, how kind everybody was to her and how much fun we had. And, um, you know, so kind of memories. We have um, a client, big fancy corporate client 
who lives down there and, and has invited us down. And, and we can get there so easily and so uh, pleasantly, unlike many places in Seattle. We have to go to Edmonds today from West Seattle. That's going to be, you know, not that much fun. But coming to <laughs> Big Harbor is, um, is just lovely. And it, you know, it makes our lives nicer when we have a project that is, is really sweet to go to. Do you have something to say there? Okay. <laughs> are, are, are you musicians? No, that was my great grandfather's banjo. It's not actually playable, but um, it's very uh, decorative. What a treasure. What yeah. a treasure. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, other questions or comments from other commissioners? Can I, I have one question about the, the process. You had mentioned that you could wet set or pre anchor or core drill. Uh huh. Is that, will you be making a recommendation in the budget as to which one is preferred for this type of project or is that up to us to decide? Or will you educate us on well, that? I don't it's know gonna that depend, it's just gonna depend on, it is gonna depend to a certain extent on cost. Um, I think that this will possibly be a combination. Our preference is, is to, to anchor everything down before the concrete is poured with little cow pies of mortar or concrete. The problem with that is you have to guard these castings in, you know, in between now, especially with metal theft, in between the time they're anchored and the time that they are, um, that the concrete is poured. So how do you do that? Do you, you know, lay out a sleeping bag and... <laughs> sleep beside the sidewalk you get a trailer and just camp there yeah even then though you know people are just of course they're going to be welded to a different kind of metal they'll be welded to stainless steel anchors and then you've got mixed metal and if the tweakers know what they're doing they'll know that the mixed metals are not actually as valuable as the separate ones a lot of it's going to do with uh, who we do the concrete with, what the concrete co contractor yeah. is comfortable with. Yeah. So their input on that is, is going to be valuable also. So what they're comfortable doing and, and once we lay out the plan with them, how this mm -hmm. is going to go together, we'll work, we'll work that plan out with the concrete uh, fabricator. Whether it's people from the city or whether it's an independent contractor, you know, kind of that is clear yet. And do you have a concrete um, person that you work with regularly? No, on all of our projects, we are we are working with you know big construction projects, and uh, and so we're using their subs. It's been a while since we hired one independently. Um, they're out there though. You just have to be very selected. You, what we need is a really good, really. Uh, um, careful concrete finisher to grow mm -hmm. around the edges. And they certainly, they certainly exist. You just have to, you just have to find them. Cause there are also a lot of guys that are, you know, they don't do that. They just, it's all flat and they just <laughs> smooth it out and they're done. But, um, but this is gonna require some finesse. So right. we just have to figure out who that's gonna be. Right. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> Love to hear them. Uh, Tiffany or 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 Josh, if Josh is available, um, it seems to me that that's working very closely with the public works with Jeff and his crew in the public works department. Um, is that uh, can we can we plan on that? Yeah, we look forward to that. Okay, I, um, yeah. our our public works director Jeff Langhelm is actually the fellow who uh, brought this whole concept to us. Uh, um, the, uh, the city has just recently, very recently completed an installation of a new roundabout. Gig Harbor is sort of roundabout world. Um, and the, uh, the city just completed a new roundabout at that intersection. And as that project was being, making its way through the public works department, the public works director came to this commission and said, we're doing this project. What do you guys think about having maybe a, us leaving a space in the sidewalk for some kind of art project? So he's, um, he's very 
sensitive. And he had some ideas, brought with him some suggestions of samples that other people have done. Um, I mean, other projects. I have no idea who did them. But so I, I think we can rely on him and his crew to work with very tender hands. Yeah, and well, work we very can come and, and meet um, with him. Yes. In Gig Harbor, I think, rather than on the... Yeah. I, I absolutely agree. You're coming... Did you make a site visit? Oh, yeah. You, yeah. I, I thought you must have. Yeah. You really did a lot of research. That, uh, that I appreciate. So yeah, well, we always do. You can't really, you know, you can't really make a proposal without doing that. And it's actually a lot of fun. I, I know a lot of very arcane stuff. Right now I'm learning a lot about the F-18 um, fighter jet. Hornet. Airplane, uh, fighter jet. Um, <laughs> <That's the Hornet. laughs> somebody wants them. And so I have to study them and figure out where all the rivets are. And, you know, but yeah, um, off the subject, I, we did. And we had a, a really nice time in Gig Harbor as we always do. And, and we're happy to make the trip um, to meet with your public, to, to meet with Jeff. We'd enjoy that. Other comments from commissioners? I have one more question. I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> um, so the, as far as the timing on the process then, do we have like a, a time where we'll expect to have a more detailed budget and we can start finalizing what elements we can afford to incorporate and mm -hmm. how does that work? Um, well, we're, I mean, we're, in the middle of, of work right now. So uh, a week from Friday, we'll have some space and, mm -hmm. and we'll, and if, if we could in that week, maybe come down and, and meet with, um, your, with Jeff and your public works department, mm -hmm. that would be good. And, and then we will be, um, you know, doing, uh, a more detailed proposal and a detailed budget in probably the two weeks after that. So what's this? So we're talking about first week of October, probably, that you would have something more definitive. One of the things that we didn't address in our um, in our proposal and that we haven't talked about yet today is the schedule. Because when the call went out, it said that that the concrete work would be done in late summer and that they expected the artwork to be installed in September. And I sent a email to um, perhaps Tiffany, but somebody, uh, whatever address that I had, I guess to city clerk and said, that's not gonna work. If your deadline is in you know, August or early September and you want the work in September, it's gotta be made, it takes, you know, it's not cake decorating. It takes some time. And, and by the time we would have these castings made, it had probably, the weather might be a little unfriendly to install them. So it, it could be next spring. At the, this, at the latest. Yeah, at the latest, obviously, before this project is actually able to be installed. So that's something that you need to take into consideration. I don't know if you have done, but um, the the schedule, the entire schedule for this project has been, um, let's say, flexible, <laughs> and uh, um, yeah. I, I feel pretty confident. But I will defer to uh, the assistant city clerk or the city clerk in saying that um, we will um, we'll we'll just work with you, whether in. October, November, December can be brutal. Yeah. Uh, or it can be delightful. And oh. uh, yep. um, uh, we understand. So Tiffany or Josh, is that uh, is that reasonable for us to just say, to kind of keep the installation finish date open, weather dependent? Yeah, I, I would think that we would just at least want to have some sort of an end date in the contract just sure. yeah you know but other than that yeah i mean by this date that that can be any time in between perfect good yeah that sounds good right 
Um, other questions, either from our artists or from our commissioners? Well, seeing none, um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you for submitting oh. this concept. And um, I personally am very much looking forward to getting to know you and working with you. Thank you. We are too. This will be fun. Very exciting. Right. So, so we need to, Tiffany, could you um, help schedule a meeting between our artists and, and Jeff? And if you would please include me in that as well. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, and maybe Aaron, I'm not sure. Jeff or Aaron, maybe this Jeff evening. or Aaron, yeah. Okay. Aaron was the project manager for the, the whole roundabout sidewalk project. So, but both of them are um, really swell people. The, the entire city staff is uh, really remarkable. That's great. Good news for us. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. I think we'll move on to our next uh, our next topic on our discussion items. All right, and we will say farewell. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Did you guys want me to share my screen for the budget or did someone else? Was Robin, were you gonna take that? And Oh, you're muted. Un unmute Robin. Robin. Please unmute. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, um, why don't you share it, Tiffany? I can make notes on mine, but I think it's probably easier for you to share. Got it. And just to clarify, I did send the edited. I cleaned it all up for what we did. Um, and, and the feedback and we have action items and outcomes. And ultimately the bottom number is our budget number we're asking for. Um, so Tiffany and Josh, you tell us what we need to do now. Um, I mean, if everybody's happy and you wanna adopt it, I mean, the, the goal I believe was to have this completed by the end of the next meeting, but if you're ready now. Um, um, I just had a question. Yeah, sure. Um, there were just a couple of little um, editing items. I didn't know if you were interested in those at this point. Um, yes. I mean, okay. All right. So well, we're interested in, it's nice to know now that Lynn is in here, we have a, a, <laughs> another one with an eagle eye. So go for it. <laughs> okay. So under goal one, paragraph A, um, the Gig Harbor Boat Shop. I think the S should be capitalized since it's their name. Oh, you and Lynn should have coffee. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm fixing it here. Okay, got it. And then under uh, subparagraph. Oh, and uh, if, if I could interject, and boat shop is all one word with the capital S in the middle. I'm, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but. No. Okay. Okay, okay. got it. Then um, on um, paragraph D, where it says solicit regular feedback. Yes. Right at where you get to community, there's a period and then there's sort of, sort of a dangling part of a sentence there. Oh, sure there's. And so eliminate the part of the yeah. sentence. Got it. That's well, it. and also with paragraph D. Yes. That was actually paragraph E because D was collect data that evaluates cultural and economic impact on the arts on Gig Harbor. Um, and I don't see that at all on here now. Oh, that's a good point. Okay. All righty. And did you guys, I wasn't at the last meeting. Um, did you guys go through all five goals? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I only, the what it came attached to the agenda is only goal one, paragraph D. I didn't get the whole thing. They're all there. Yeah. Because um, I printed everything out. This is all I got. It was, this is goal one. It might have been the way the PDF rendered or whatever. Um, um, okay. So what I'm thinking is, uh, 
So let's go through what we've got here, but Jennifer, we might not be able to approve because Jennifer, you probably want to give this a read, right? Um, all yeah. the way before you approve it or um, or sign off on it. Um, I think what we're looking here for, just FYI, Tiffany and Josh, correct me if I'm wrong, but really what we're looking for to approve this is for the money, things that have money assigned to them, and then we can adjust that afterwards. Uh, so I think we want to approve it, the money, so that gets in as our budget, and then we can always modify the work plan. Um, is that accurate? Tiffany's shaking her head. So. Well, I mean, you you want to have a, you know, your work plan and your budget, you, you know, you're going to kind of want both of those ready and prepared to present okay. to council. So if we, if we um, update it with the, then we should put in E. Um, we'll have to probably wait till next time to update, I would imagine. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Okay, because Jennifer, I think you, you'll want to give this a better read knowing and, and we've you know your input is is incredibly valuable so um does that sound good like a plan let's just review what we've got and then um if you i'll i'll include e um so uh and d is actually e so we need the real d right okay yeah. <laughs> and move d yeah. to e yeah, yeah, I'll move D to E and add E. So um and I I need I will need to put we'll need to put an action item. Um well so reply to E again. What was E or say what D the original D was? Um, original D is collect data that evaluates cultural and economic impact on the arts. Did we move that somewhere else, guys? Do you remember? Maybe that's the case. I think yeah. we might have moved that somewhere else. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm thinking you're maybe right. So why don't we? Um, education, engagement, spaces and places. We might have folded it. Hold on. Did we did we combine D and E? Is that um, solicit regular feedback from the community through surveys and interviews? Share these results with the community. Was that sentence that I took off the other yeah. half of combining? That could be why there's that weird damn yeah. sentence at the end, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So maybe you guys did combine it. I think we combined it. And that's why that weird sentence is there. Okay. What is the, um, does anybody have handy what the, in the original D, what that's, does that match up, um, Jennifer? Well, it should say collect data that evaluates okay. cultural and economic impact of the arts on Gig Harbor. So collect yes. data that just needs so to So I be think it. we combined it. Feedback and data, we combined together. I think you're right. And because we have a biannual business survey um, built on baseline results. Yeah, that's what we did. It's like, it feels like a year ago when we, when we did that a month ago, but um, I'm, I was able to pull from the recesses of my, my summer memory. Um, does that work for you, Jennifer? Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. So we can just, can. Tiffany, is this, can you email the whole PDF out with that? I, I just emailed you the Excel spreadsheet so that Perfect. maybe it'd be easier for you to work with that than the PDF. Okay. Yes. You know, Robin? I, I, just, I, up, I just updated it. So um, I'll send, I, yes, I'm sorry, Sonia. Sir, I had another thought on this. It's not really an action item, but and you're talking about doing a survey and getting ideas from the public on, on arts and things like that. I would be interested in just a survey of those of us on the Arts Commission. Um, 
I'm sure we all have ideas or things we'd like to see. And I, I feel like with other, like I know things that I am interested in and, and would like to see, but I don't know what the other commissioners might be thinking or, or what's important to them. And I, I'd be interested in seeing ideas from the commissioners too, just kind of brainstorming. And if it was a survey, kind of write everything out and we can circulate it rather than spending an entire meeting talking about, you know, here's an idea I've got, but I think that might get some new, some new concepts or some new ideas too. Um, yeah, I think actually, I mean, I looked to Josh and Tiffany on this one, but I, I think that the action, what we're putting here, the very purpose of that is for us to generate ideas. So I don't right. think it needs to be part of this, but one of the methods we could use to generate our ideas is, is a internal survey, but I'm not sure that needs to go on here. Right, I agree. I don't think it does, but I just yeah, as okay. we're talking about as we're talking about surveys, I think that might be another thing to do. But right, not as an action item. Okay, great. Yeah, I agree. I think that's a good time saver. Yeah, it's a good suggestion um, because then we can get more specific on some of these ideas. We have some i we have some definite items in here, but. Um, that's great. Okay, so are, are we discussing at least what's in front of us now or? Yes, or? well, the goal is, is if we went over this, Jennifer, you weren't here, unfortunately, last time, because you had a big event breathing down your neck. Um, but, uh, but I edited all edited and um, arranged all of this from everybody's comments. And the goal is that this, this would be our work plan and budget moving forward. And as, as Tiffany said, if we can approve it today, that's great, we're a month ahead. But if you want more time, we can definitely have more time. I mean, I sent it back out right after the meeting so people could see that I captured things. Um, why don't we do this as we go through, Colette, why don't you continue to give me your uh, um, corrections okay. and, then, um, and then people can review this if they haven't had a chance while we do that. Okay, um, back under goal two, paragraph A. Mm -hmm. I just, um, this, this is just uh, a, a question really, it says create a cohesive wayfinding. Um, is, that's actually a um, term of art, isn't it? An interpretive signage strategy, not a way of finding. Our... No, um, no, wayfinding is. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. That's yeah, what... meant for, okay. you know. Yeah, have... I understand. Yeah, okay. that makes yeah. total sense. Okay, the next one is just a typo. Under goal three, paragraph C, under outcome, I think there's an M missing in programming. Where, and, am, I, where am I missing this? Hold on, what was it? Oh, it oh, the second one, right. Right there. Wait a minute, it's, uh, it's under, Paragraph C, there's, oh. two, there's two action items, mm -hmm. programming in local schools. Go down. Oh, here. down here. Yeah. Outcome. Oh, I see. Okay. Are you, are you making the corrections, Tiffany, on the... Um... I'm making notes, so I can do it if you'd like. Okay. I'm doing it as we go, but... Um, okay. But uh, you, you can do it, too, just as backup. a backup. And, and I then... see Josh has his hand up. I don't know. Oh. Oh, hey, sorry. I just wanted to kind of chime in a little bit. I think there's there's one more step that I'd like to see in the, the work plan process. Um, so the the Excel spreadsheet's great and it's really detailed, um, but I think we need to do one more step beyond that and just kind of boil down the action items into like a single page we can put in front of council. Okay. Uh, we can give council the spreadsheet because it's really detailed and some of them will really be interested to see what this is. But um, I know some of our council members won't be able to dive into something this lengthy, and they're just going to want to see bullet points. What are the what are the five or ten things, or however many it is that you guys are going to tackle? Um, right. So once we get the spreadsheet locked down, maybe then if one of you can combine that into like a single page that just says, "Here's what we want to do," and 
not necessarily give all the justification or magic to goals, just say, these are the things we're excited to do. Here are our action items. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, and we can, we can follow uh, last year's and previous um, budgets for that format, Robin. <clears throat> Okay, well, I think there's two things. There's the budget and then there's the one sheet yeah. for the, I think Josh is talking about two different things. Yeah, I have this everything. One's a simple to. one sheet. Yeah. <laughs> we have everything we need for the budget. It's just those two okay. items. We'll make sure that they're spelled out in, in the budget so that council knows those are coming. Um, and really that's just to give us the authorization to do the contracts without having to go back to council for permission. So so okay. those, those are the only two things we need to worry about for the budget. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, the, right. oh, the, go ahead, Josh. Yeah, the single page thing, what we'll do is we'll, um, so the plan I think is to meet with council in a joint session, probably, hopefully in late October, maybe early November sometime. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll find a date when that works um, and just kind of present this to them and talk about what's on there. And then we'll come back to a council meeting, I think probably the first one in December. And we'll actually have a resolution that has your work plan attached. So um, Tiffany or I will come up with some nice resolution language and get that in front of council for formal adoption. So um, that resolution will have the, the one page thing attached to it as a as what's being adopted. So um, just that's kind of what the process I'm envisioning will be. But we'll that's great. That Thank you, Josh. That's great. That feels very uh, um, streamlined and much. And now we actually have um, some touchstones with council. That's great. Um, uh, so here, what I'm thinking then is, is why don't, I'd like to make a suggestion that we, we get um, Colette's corrections on the rest of this. And then what we do is we, we review this all at, everybody has a chance to review it before the next meeting. And and then we can give feed, we can, if you send me the feedback, um, we can incorporate that um, and then review, review and hopefully approve next meeting. How does that sound? Did that make any sense? Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. So Robin, you'll send a corrected spreadsheet at some point like today or something? Yeah, I'll send a corrected spreadsheet. Should I send it to you and then you can send it out to everybody, Tiffany? Okay. That's probably, yeah, best. Me and Josh. Okay. okay. All right. Colette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just one more. Under goal five, um, paragraph C, we have two action items. The first action item, I believe, is already on page one, paragraph B. Yes, but I think that um, was there, I couldn't remember whether we had purposely we put purposely, it in there. Purposely, um, we're redundant on that one. Okay, okay. Um, so, right. Okay, great. All right. Okay. So, what I'll do is, um, <clears throat> unless anybody, I should say, does anybody else have any other feedback right now? Sonia or Charlie. Um, no, okay, and and then um, Jennifer, are you comfortable just having some more time to review and sending feedback? Yes. Okay, all right, good. Okay, well then what I would say is um, I'll work on starting the one sheet so we can have that to review in the next meeting as well. Um, and uh, make it just, <clears throat> Just, you know, Josh, you're suggesting just our action items, like what we're gonna do next year. I think I think we've lost him for another minute. Okay. So Tiffany, is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, right. just, you don't need to have any explanation or details, just this is, these or are the goals or anything. Just here's what we've got on our- This is what we wanna do. Plate. Okay. All right, so I'll do that and I'll, I'll make sure I have that ready for the next meeting for everybody to review. Um, does that sound good? Yeah. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay. That, that one sheet though, you just want 2023's action action items, yeah. not 2024 since it's a biennium budget. Yeah, it's just 2023, but probably 
Um, well, actually, I don't know. I'll ch I, let's let's ask Tiffany and Josh because it's probably that a lot of these things will go over into 2024 as well, because because there some of them are ongoing, and then some of them um, we won't get to them all, honestly. Yeah, yeah, and since it's a, yeah, I mean your budget work plan is a two year, so yeah, just over those two years, I would think that you'd want to list those bigger. <laughs> Action. Yeah, it's a two-year action plan. <clears throat> so, so Tiffany, with that in mind, for example, our creative endeavor grants, do we need to show twice that amount then? You know, the thirty-five thousand for twenty twenty-three, and then another twenty. We another, do. I, from yeah. what I yeah, from what I understand, this is a yearly budget. So yeah, you're gonna want yeah each year what you expect to have in your budget. Or hope okay. to have. And so, we do have that on here. Okay. Yeah, right. so on there okay, good. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Right, we do on that one. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think, um, well, then I, I think we're done here. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. actually finish early. <laughs> well, yeah, I think we're, I think we're done with all the actual all the agenda items. That's amazing, considering we had such a full, uh, um, since we had a, had to choose a, a, an art project, that was really remarkably easy, all things considered. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, unlike some previous ones. When yes, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so any commissioner reports or comments? I have, um, I, have, oh, I think I sent, yes, Colette. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> interrupt you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to the commissioners and the city council people who persons who um, attended the reception for the open jury show. Uh, thanks again to the Harbor History Museum. It really showcases the artwork so beautifully. So and if you haven't had a chance, get to the museum and enjoy it. It's through the end of next month. Um, right. So thank you all. And I think, um, and I thank Jennifer and um, Sonia, who um, the three of us together um, had the very di difficult decision of choosing <laughs> our commissioner's choice artwork. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I sent everyone a copy of that. Uh, I, I know I sent it to council, um, but um, if you didn't get that, then well, go to the museum and see it in person but I'm also happy to send you a photograph of the one that we chose, which was- um, Anna, we, Anna Huey's. Yeah, we did right some arm wrestling yeah. because we had so many choices. So um, I was going back and forth on uh, giving the president's award to Anna as well. And uh, uh, for different reasons, you know, chose Charles Sallet's piece, but- um, I spoke with Anna afterwards and she's gonna become a member of Peninsula Art League. So we're very excited to have her. She has wonderful background. Very good, excellent, excellent. It's a, it's a marvelous show, everyone. I really urge you to go see it. The museum is open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday from 11 to four. And um, don't, don't forget to vote for your people's choice when you go see it, so. Um, any other uh, commissioner's comments? Anything going on? Sonia, anything with music that we should know about? Just started up with rehearsals. So no, uh, no performances yet, but we're, we're getting everything ready. And Jennifer, how did the big event go? The Harbor? Uh, <laughs> History Rocks. History Rocks. Sorry, we just had some, I'm in the break room today. We have a rental in our, my normal space. Um, it went really well. We uh, we made our goal and about ninety six thousand dollars gross. And Junior Cadillac was a big hit. People had a lot of fun dancing and you know hanging out with them into the evening. So it was a good um, first experience uh, having the fundraiser at the museum and you know on the campus and having a lot of different things going on all at once. So right, yeah, yeah. right. Uh, Tiffany, anything going on with the city that we should be on the alert of? 
Oh, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> There's a lot going on, but not a, a lot, lot of it. On. Not a lot of it relates to art. <laughs> oh, forget yeah. about the unveiling tomorrow. Yes. Oh, big yeah. big thing tomorrow. Yes, we'll be unveiling the our fisherman, our guardian, um, carved redwood sculpture that was created by Guy Kapoiman, who is a wonderful Salish, Coast Salish carver, and also happens to be president of the Quinault Indian Nation. And he'll be there, uh, tribal members will be there. Um, there will be tribal dancing and tribal drumming and uh, tribal canoes. Um, Mayor Markley will give opening remarks as will Anna Bean from the Tribal Council. And um, uh, Mr. Kapoyman also will be talking about the artwork itself. So, and you can read a little preview of it in um, yesterday's and today's Gig Harbor Now, gigharbornow.org. Okay, any other, uh, anything else for the good of the order? Our next meeting is Wednesday, October 12th. And I hope we get to see you all at that meeting, if not before. So uh, with that in mind, may I have a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. Okay, uh, that looked like Robin and Jennifer, are you seconding? I second. <laughs> all right, all in favor? Aye. Thank you all so much. We are adjourned. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Tiffany. You're Thank welcome. Thank you, Josh.